Kaleidoscopic Photographers, it's time to create your Kaleidoscope image. So once you have your image saved to your computer, we need to open it in PhotoP. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open my image that I'm going to use to create my Kaleidoscope from. So remember I said to have something with a lot of lines, a lot of contrast, so you know, a dramatic change between light and dark that's going to make this a lot more interesting. What we want to do first is rename this layer. So instead of it being called background, I'm going to double click on where it says background and I'm going to rename this base image. That's going to make this a lot easier to kind of keep track of. Now what I need to do is figure out what size this image is that's going to help me with the next step. So I'm going to go to image, image size, and um, we want to make sure this is set to inches. So if yours says pixels, PX, switch it to inches. And I want this to be about five by seven. Um, because this little link is linked here, I just need to change one of these. And so I'm gonna change my width to seven and then it changed my height automatically to 5.25. We wanna change our DPI to 300 if it's not already. And then we'll hit okay. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna create a new file, file new. And we're going to call it Kaleidoscope. Yours might not say Kaleidoscope. It probably will say New Project. So we'll call it Kaleidoscope. We want our measurements, measurements in inches again. And I want to double what I did before. So mine was about, again, 5 by 7. So I'm going to do 14 because 7 doubled is 14. And then my height was 5.25. If you want to get exact, then I could do, you know, 10.5 or if you just do you know, 10, that works as well. Make sure your DPI is 300 and then hit create. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our original base image. And with the move tool selected, I'm gonna drag my base image over to my blank canvas. So it's taking up you know, about a quarter of our canvas here. Now over here in my layers, I'm gonna right click on my base image and I'm gonna duplicate the layer. And then I'm going to move that over to start kind of creating this tiling effect. And I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontally. Now I'm going to make another copy. So I'm going to right click on my base image copy and I'm going to duplicate that layer. And I'm going to move that down. And now I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and I'm going to flip vertically. And then we're going to do that one more time. Right click on my base image copy two duplicate layer, move that over, but then we're gonna go to edit transform and we're gonna flip that one horizontally. So now we're kinda getting this kaleidoscope effect going here. All right, next thing I wanna do is I wanna merge these layers. So with my top layer selected, it has this light gray, so I can tell that's selected. And then I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and select the bottom layer. So once they're all light gray, you can see that they're all selected. And I'm going to right click and merge layers. So what I did is now all of that is just one layer. And now I'm going to duplicate this copy. So I'm going to right click and duplicate layer just like before. So now I have base image copy four. And I'm going to go to edit transform, rotate. And I want to pay attention up here. We can play with, you know, X and Y axis, height. This here has this little angle symbol. It says zero. I'm going to type 45 in that and hit my check mark to say OK. I'm going to go back to my base image, copy three, and I'm going to duplicate that again. And I'm going to go to edit, transform, rotate, and this time I'm going to do negative 45 and hit OK. And then once more, I'm going to copy my layer. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Rotate, and this time I'm going to do 90 degrees. There we go. All right, and now I can delete my background layer. We don't need that anymore. So with my background layer selected, I'm going to hit this little trash can icon and boom, it's gone now. And I want to select all of these again. So I have my bottom layer selected. I'm going to hold shift, select the top. Now we have all of these selected. And here in our layer settings, we have it set to normal. I'm going to select that and we're going to scroll till we find overlay. And now we have our kaleidoscope overlay. 
So now we can see all of these images at once. So once you are happy with this, um, you're going to go ahead and save your image. So we're going to go to File, Export As, JPEG, and hit Save. And then you'll see that save to your computer. And that's what you will turn in on Google Classroom.